Hey besties, welcome and welcome back to another vlog. I am Ryan For Real, and if you are new to my channel, I ask that you subscribe before you leave. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I post another video. You guys, I have a long day ahead of me. I have so much to do. One thing I have to do today that I am not mentally prepared for is laundry. <laughs> today is laundry day. I went ahead and separated everything, including my linen. But the great thing coming out of me washing today, I have brand new linen, you guys. Yes, brand new linen, and I would like to thank Brooke Linen for sponsoring today's video. If you didn't know, Brooke Linen is a luxury sheet company that creates and delivers high quality home goods for your home. Brooke Linen believes that everyone should have a nice, simple, yet elegant essential in their home at a fair price. Elevate your space, whether it's the bathroom, your bedroom. So here are the sheets. Look how they already have it packaged. So it comes with a manual inside. And it gives you all the facts about their brand. I have the Lux Hardcore, which comes with the duvet cover, flat and fitted sheets, and four pillowcases. By getting this bundle, you save 25% versus buying the items individually. I decided to go with their sheets because for one, they have a five-star rate. And per their reviews, I've seen that the customers enjoy these sheets because they last a long time, and you can wash them several times and they will not lose their high quality feel. After every wash, the linen gets softer and it gives you the best sleep every time. And I just have to test that out for myself. I mean, we spend one third of our lives in the bed anyway, right? So you will want to make sure that you have a comfortable sleep every time. And shopping online was totally easy. It is very much user friendly. They have a description for every single category. This is to ensure that you make the perfect purchase the first time. I decided to go with the cream because it fits the aesthetic of my room. Y'all, look how simple that one box just elevated my bedroom. I am in love. It is the next morning. You guys, 10 out of 10, definitely recommend. It definitely live up to the hype that I've been seeing all online. Extremely soft, plush. It literally fits to my comfort. Y'all, let me tell y'all a secret. Y'all did not hear this from me. Right now, Brooke Linen is having their Memorial Day sale and all Brooke Linen items are 20% off, but they're only doing it to May 31st. So this is the perfect time for y'all to stock up. Shop Brooke Linen's Memorial Day sale by clicking in the link to get your 20% off. And I kindly thank Brooke Linen for sponsoring today's video. Whew. Y'all, I had some good sleep. I had some really, really good sleep. Today is Tuesday. First of all, I want to thank everybody that wished me a speedy recovery. I want to thank everyone for their prayers. Y'all, I was going through it over the weekend. I cannot lie. But thank God I kept myself busy because I was able to load up on content, load up on work just in case. I did have to take a break of some sort, and I'm glad I did. Um, you know, everything happens for a reason, but um, all throughout the weekend, I literally just relaxed. I chilled. I watched a lot of TV. I got a lot of sleep. I barely had an appetite. I hear people say all the time, like when they're sick, oh, I, didn't, I don't have an appetite, or I didn't have an appetite. This is my very first time being under the weather and didn't have an appetite. But all in all, I feel great. I'm not just saying that because I'm on camera. I feel good. I need to get up because I do have a... Okay. I do need to get up because I do have a haircut appointment. It's about to rain. I checked the forecast. It's literally about to rain all day, every day this week. This thing on drive, y'all. This drive is 30 minutes. Oh, my gosh. But anyway, while I'm out, I'll probably grab something to eat. Today, I do plan on doing a seafood mukbang. That video was my last upload, so I'm sure y'all watched that. If you haven't, go and watch that after this video. It's, uh, like, spend your day with me. That's one thing. Listen. Listen, I'm going to be a little selfish real quick with y'all. When I upload, I need all eyes on me now. <laughs> when I upload... And you haven't caught every video, I'm gonna I'm gonna need you to go. I'm gonna need you to go back and watch some more videos. Now I'm just joking, y'all, but I do see some people do that. Like they'll comment on um like my recent video and then you know at the end of the video when it has to pop up for the previous videos, I see them comment under that one as well. Honestly, like before I got ill, I was really doing some thinking and 
I really want to bring the fun back to YouTube. And what I mean by the fun, and this is no shade to nobody, um, but hear me out. It's so many people, it's so many content creators out there copying off the next person. And I mean, I've, I've done it. I've done it as well. Um, even though I try to do it in my own little way. But it's so many content creators copying off the next content creator. And I've been doing some studying with vlogs. And it, I feel like the same thing that is happening to vlogs in the black community is the same thing that happened in the mukbang community. Copying off everybody's style, the plate setup, um, conversations, everything, right? The mukbang, the black mukbang community has died. It's like, it's not bubblegum popping like it used to be. I mean, like, I feel like mukbangs would be forever because watching people eat, that can be entertaining. I still watch mukbangs. It'd be mostly like, you know, Korean mukbangs, but I watch them, right? So it was like not that many people doing mukbangs. People started coming, people started watching people started um copying to the t and it just everybody just you know stared away it wasn't fun anymore and i think the same thing is happening to vlogs like vlogs were bubba gum popping and now it's like slowly declining like the popularity of vlogs is just in the black community is just going down and i said what i said and i'm not talking about anybody in particular i'm just saying all together it is what it is. But anyway, let me get up. It is 9.07. My appointment is at 10. Y'all already know the deal. My barber, he tried to, my barber, he already expect me to be late. You know, I share the story with y'all all the time. It's me trying to make up my bed while I'm on the camera. Speaking of haircut, y'all, look how much my hair done grown since it fell out. My hair grow fast. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing faded. I'm gonna get one of my favorite fades. I want it bald all the way around and just a little bit of hair up there. I need to brush my hair. My waves are slowly coming in. I haven't had waves in forever, child. So I was like, let me get back on it. Y'all, my goal nowadays is to definitely keep myself accountable for everything, especially work life balance. I put in a lot of work for myself because I am literally creating the life that I want and most definitely the life that I deserve. So I put in a lot of work for myself that I mistreat myself sometimes. And I think that's why I keep getting sick. Like I'm, I'm telling y'all, like I, I haven't been taking care of myself and I have to take care of myself. I have to protect myself. Y'all, I will literally go all day filming, cooking, whatever I decide to do to make some money on the side or, you know, my side hustle. I will literally work and don't take a lunch break. Don't take a mental break. Don't pray. Don't give myself time to recoup. I just, I just get it because I'm, I'm in survival mode. I am in survival mode. And um, yeah, I've really been doing that. So I just took some time out. And you know, I'm glad I was a little ill because that was my body telling me, yo, I need, I need a break. This is too much, sis. <laughs> so, you know, I allowed myself to recharge and I make my infamous ginger and lemon tea. <sighs> That's all I've been sipping on. And I, I, I tried that elderberry tea. That thing sent me to the bathroom. <laughs> TMI, but it do. So I think I'm gonna continue to drink it. All right, y'all, I am ready. I have another two piece from Timu. I don't know the official name of like the design or the, the inspired design, but I call it a little emotion shirt. It has an emotion. It's the matching shorts, which it's kind of weird to wear because it's about to rain. I think it's actually starting to drizzle now. So I'm probably gonna throw on my joggers, my Adidas joggers. I have to find my Adidas. Well, wait, wait, wait a minute. I have my larger basket up here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to throw on my Adidas because it's raining and I don't wanna get wet. And even though it's hot outside, I'm gonna wear my jacket. I'm gonna wear my windbreaker. My line jacket, child. I haven't worn this in so long. I usually wear it every Founders Day. Ooh. 
and I can still fit it. What nonsense, Corey? Look, look, child, I'm getting too old for that. Oh, okay. I still got it. I still got it. All right, that's enough. That's enough. I gotta go. So glad I have my hair cut. Look at it. Ow! All right, now I want to grab me something really, really, really quick to eat. I'm not trying to get too full because I am doing a mukbang. Y'all, it's me. It's your bestie. He's the problem. First of all, I just got in the house. I ate on my way. Oh look. Off, off record, y'all. Y'all see that? When. <laughs> This is like my only problem with having my nose pierced is this part sticking out because I'd just be talking, running my mouth out in public and it just looked like I have a whole boogie in my nose. But the reason, but the reason why it's like that is because I'm just trying to push it to the back. So don't think I'm digging for gold. I'm just pushing it in the back. But the reason that it's loose because my barber, he be getting up down them nose heads. But first of all, let's get into the cut. Looking good, looking handsome, looking like my father. <laughs> but anyway, I'm the problem, it's me. Because I'm in the bathroom trying to, you know, flick it up for Instagram, for my social media. And like, I rub my head a little bit and then I noticed that little, y'all see that good? I, I forgot that it's the, I forgot I had, you just don't know your own strength. Like I knew I was strong or whatever. Y'all know I be in the gym. Even though I do more cardio and leg work, but we ain't we ain't talking about that. But um, I was posing in the mirror. I was like, damn, like, ah, ah. gun show. Period. Anyway, <laughs> y'all. So I did end up stopping to get me something to eat. When I was talking to y'all in the car, Crystal had called me, and we had a long in depth conversation. And um, I forgot to film what I had. Um, I couldn't film it anyway because I was on the phone. I didn't bring my camera. My camera was on the charger because I have to do another video in the middle of doing this one. But anyway, I'm breathing hard because flexing got me breathing all hard. But y'all, um, look at your boy. I don't want to be skinny. I really want to be thick, but like in shape. You get what I mean? Like, I don't want to be skinny. I don't mind having a stomach. Like, I want meat on my bones. But it's so crazy to be like, my doctor said, you know, I have a very small frame. And he was like, you know, you need to shape it up and do. But, you know, I just want to be, you know, thick, like muscular thick type deal. It's giving very much he eats. But yeah, y'all, I stopped the Pepe's and I had got me a um, six piece ghost pepper. Ghost pepper meal or whatever. It wasn't a meal. It was just a wings, but hold on y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and put my 360 escrow style in my head. Um, I've been wearing it for the past two days and it's been turning out great. Uh, my waves are coming back. I haven't had waves in forever. I don't know if it was because of like the hair bleach was kind of drying my hair out and it wasn't, you know, really feeling the texture for my Ways to come in, but they're coming. They're coming. I finally was able to get me a wave cap instead of wearing that damn do rag. All right. I hope that glare ain't bothering y'all. I just want to put some in, just a nice dime size. Child, that was a whole penny. <laughs> put it in my head. I'm so satisfied with my fade, y'all. This is the fade that I wanted. I told him, take me military. I want military style fade. <laughs> he said, oh, you want it on top of your head? Just the hair on the top? I was like, yep. Bald all the way around. This is one of my self-iconic uh, styles. 
And what I mean by iconic is, you know, this was my haircut that I used to always get. That's the haircut that had the girls going crazy. I would say the boys, but I wasn't talking to boys then. This had the girls going crazy. So, you know what? I'm, I think it's time for a change. I need a gra. It is still super early and I have no clue on what to do. My appointment was at 10 and I actually got there on time. So I was a little too early. Because <laughs> he had a client in front of me and he was still working on them. So right now it is 1140. So I'll probably just start editing this vlog that y'all are watching now. Um, I'm not done with it, but I'm going to edit what I have until I start filming for this, for this mud bomb. I'm not ready to eat yet. So I think what I'm going to do really quick, I'm probably just going to take off these clothes, shower, and get in bed and relax, to be honest. And if y'all see this outfit again during that mud bomb, mind your business because... Yeah, I might, I might put it back on. What's on the menu? Crawfish. These crawfish are already clean, cooked, and seasoned. I had cooked these the last time I had some crawfish. I had bought a lot. I had bought a lot of crawfish. And then I just froze what was left. So I'm just running some hot water on it to knock off the chill. Let me show y'all. So yeah, I'm just knocking off the chill. I actually thought I had more than these. So I'm probably gonna add like some um, potatoes and sausage. I wanted to do just solely crawfish, but it's not enough. What's bubblegum poppin'? Today I'm doing a mukbang. You already know I have my favorite. We have some crawfish, and within the crawfish I have sausage, potato, and whole egg. I am sipping on some Taylor Port. So if I start talking crazy, I'm like, yeah, y'all know why. I blame it on Taylor Port. Don't blame it on me. Ooh, wee. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Now that's flavor. These crawfish is bomb. So good. Yo, so I just came from IGA. I went there to get me some seafood, but I stumbled across these bad boys. Now don't ask me, Ryan, how in the world did you stumble across some cookies? by the seafood owl. We ain't, we, ain't, we ain't on that. Focus. So I just got off the phone with my good friend D-Ray. Cause y'all, I literally had to FaceTime him and ask him how in the world do he make the perfect cookies? Yeah, I said perfect. Now he want me to believe that he used all of the directions on the back. And he says it's simple as that. So let's get into it y'all. Y'all know I'm not a Y'all know I would cook the house down, honey, but I cannot bake. I cannot bake to save my life. I'm gonna put a little olive oil on the bottom of it just in case. Just a little bit. Okay. And I'm not gonna cook that many. I have, how many cookies is in here? It's 24 cookies in the pack. But I'm gonna just bake like four. Um, two for the night, two for tomorrow. Look at that, y'all. I think I did pretty good. Mm -hmm. 